explain how this algorithm for detecting the distance between parallel lines works. Um, basically, we have this um, equation um, that is quite simple between quotes. It can be really difficult if you don't know how to read it. Um, I think that the biggest problem people have is that they don't know how to read formulas and it's because it's not simple, especially for us the developers that we haven't studied maths deeply. Um, for me a formula is a conclusion of different concepts, functions, packed in one single thing. So if we take a look on this equation of uh, the distance between parallel lines, we can see that the top of it has involved the line equation. The line equation is really important to understand when we are dealing with vectors and unfortunately there are many ways, different equations to write down exactly the same straight line and it can be confusing sometimes but um, here are the top two that people are using the most. Um, first one, we got this one here, quite simple and um, we got the second one that is the one that Spain used in, in our equation. So let's speak about this line equation. How to translate from the Cartesian plane to the equation and from the equation to option script. Um, let's say we have this line here um, from the point, um, let's say, to 1, is point A, to the point um, 5, 6, point B. The line equation represents an infinitive line and it has something called the slope that is uh, the inclination or the direction of it. Um, in our case, um, to define that the slope is so simple, what we have to do is just, uh, let's say, a variable a equal y2 minus y1 and let's say b equal x2 minus x1 and then the slope, the direction of it is um, just a divided b, that's all. And then we have the last part of it that is uh, that we have to know um, a dot that intercepts the y-axis of our line. So for doing that, um, let's say we got a b equal y1 minus the slope times x1. So that's all. Um, so now we can choose any value for x to find out the value of y or vice versa. It's up to you. Um, one thing is that in the future if you want to convert from this um, line equation to the general form of the line equation is just as simple as this. Um, we got this equation, um, y is equal to the slope, that we know that the slope is 5 divided 3 times x um, plus b. Um, it's just as simple as say uh, 3 times y is equal to 5 times x plus 3 times b, which means that 5 times x plus 3 times y plus 3 times b is equal to 0. That is the general uh, form um, of this line equation. So now that we know how this line equation works, we can easily jump to the other equation to find out what is the distance between our line to any point of a parallel line of ours. Um, to do that, um, the equation you know, this one here, um, and just put all the variables we have, that is a times bx, b x means the x position of the point of the parallel line, right? Plus b times b y plus b capital times b. This b is from the line equation. And all this thing divide um, square root of a times a plus b times b, that's so. all. That is the that is the, the whole thing is is it's not complex but um it's, it's a bit difficult at the beginning when you have to find out all these variables and, and these things and um now I would like to show you um the algorithm in, in action how how it looks like so let's see. This is a demo I did to show how the algorithm works. Um you can download the source code from my website joanbolante.com um just drag here the lines and it always will tell you what is the distance in pixels you can rotate the lines um, yeah it works quite well so I'm quite happy with it um, I did a couple of games uh, based on this algorithm um, it's so so light it doesn't take um, much from your CPU time so let's see these other games 
the first game I did using this algorithm um, was this uh, Tamgran game um, for snapping objects. So every time you got a piece that is close to the other one, it will snap each other. Um, it works quite well even with the other figure. It's really, really interesting how it works. Um, I mean, the result is, is quite um, quite good. Um, it's really light in terms of CPU time. Um, I'm quite satisfied with it. And another game I did was um, uh, so this is a uh, Bliss in Magnet Land. Um, this game is using exactly the same the same algorithm for the Tangram. Um, so basically, I'm using it for detecting the collisions between between the ore collector and the walls, and also the gems. So everything everything that has collisions here in this uh, game is using the same algorithm. Um, just just detecting parallel lines, the distance of parallel lines. Um, so let me just run the game in debug mode. Um, you will see how it was done using exactly the same algorithm, all parallel lines for detecting the collisions. So here, for example, is the ore collector. Um, just take a look on how it looks like. So, are just parallel lines all the time, all the time. <laughs> all right. Um, so this is how I did for um, making the different levels. Um, this game was a really good challenge um, using this algorithm. Um, from the very beginning, I was thinking it's impossible. Um, all the just the collisions happening and all these things just with this uh, basic algorithm, um, this equation, the, the 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 line equation and and the parallel lines equation distance. Uh, it was just good. Um, I hope you guys can maybe find out a different um, way for reusing this code and, and that's all. Um, I hope you like it. So, see you next time.